Clement, Vice Minister Tang, Deputy Director Tan, Deputy Minister Yap, Vice Minister Napathorn, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, government colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. A warm welcome to the Vocational and Professional Education Training International Conference taking place alongside the World Skills Hong Kong Competition and Carnival. My thanks to the young dancers for their delightful performance. They are students and graduates of the Hong Kong Institute of Vocational Education and the Hong Kong Design Institute, both pillars of our Vocational Training Council, VTC. As you saw, their talent extends well beyond the classroom, thanks to the diverse education and training offered by the VTC. For the past 35 years, the VTC has offered diversified choices for countless Hong Kong students and working adults, equipping them with the knowledge, skills, and values they need for lifelong learning and enhanced employability. So yes, the VTC, or vocational education in general, has been a critical source in addressing the manpower needs of Hong Kong's many employers and industries. And my government has put a priority on promoting vocational education among our youngsters. In my 2014 policy address, I said that mainstream education is not a straight jacket that fits all young people as everyone has his or her own interests and abilities. The government should re-establish the positioning of vocational education in our education system and guide the younger generation in choosing their career." Unquote. Indeed, as President Xi Jinping said at a national working meeting in 2014, vocational education is an important part of the national education system as it gives young people technical and specialized skills and promotes employment and entrepreneurship. My government has put forth a number of policy measures to promote vocational education. We have put more emphasis on professional knowledge and the professional image of It's now become vocational and professional education and training, or VPET in short, covering programs up to degree level. A high percentage of the curriculum consists of specialized vocational skills or professional knowledge. The point is clear. VPAD is not a second choice, but rather entirely compatible with the traditional academic pathway. We are also enhancing our financial commitment to VPAD. Each year, we spend more than 300 million US dollars on VPAD. And since the Task Force on Promotion of ed Vocational Education set up to map out a strategy for promoting vocational education, submitted its report to the government two years ago, we have invested 46 million US dollars on taking forward the task force's recommendations, including stepping up promotion of VPAT in the community. In this year's policy address, I announced that the government has identified a new site for developing a VTC campus with adequate capacity and first class facilities. We will also support the VTC to construct an aviation and marine engineering center. <coughs> Today's conference is one of the key events celebrating the 20th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to China. Hong Kong, with our strengths in education and professional training, can contribute to our country's education and youth development. For one, our connectivity with both the mainland of China and the rest of the world will help foster international collaborations and help bring together education experts like all of you here for discussion and experience sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, this year also marks the 35th anniversary of the VTC. <clears throat> you are invited to enjoy the World Skills Hong Kong Competition and Carnival, along with other activities and events, or showcasing the achievements and remarkable talent of the Council's students and graduates. I wish you all a rewarding two days at the conference and a memorable stay in Hong Kong. Thank you. <clears throat>